Hello YouTube fans, thank you for joining today's blog of showing you guys on how to get more space on your iPod Touch 5th generation iPad and iPhone. I don't have those two devices, the only thing I'm going to show you is my iPod Touch. And that's going to be very easy to do. I'm going to show you on how to clean out the iPod to get more storage and for your more items you want to put new stuff in. I have uh, music, videos, pictures, and applications is what's on on my iPod Touch 5th generation ITO. And the biggest complaint I have is about the 64 gigabyte of space. Not a lot of room, but it's enough room to get you by for certain types of use. Now, what really hogs up my iPod Touch is my videos, my pictures, my music, and applications as well. Now, the biggest problem is how do you clean out your device? Do you use your computer? By the way, I am using my computer. I'm using iTunes, that's my account. This is what everything is stored on of my 500 gigabyte hard drive is what's inside my computer. It's not stored on iTunes at all. It's what's stored on the hard drive. You load up your photos, you load up your applications, or you put movies and uh, music on your computer, and you do it that way. And that's how it transfers to your iPod Touch. Now, why do I say this? I did this last night. I'm very really happy because I turned off my photo streams. Now, the reason why I did that because I wanted more space for newer applications, made some new music, uh, videos, and made some new uh, pictures. But I was really uh, bummed out because of how my iPod was lurking and lagging and not having enough space to also play YouTube videos and kept crashing with all the different type of applications. Now, I do not want to reset my iPod Touch to uh, the factory uh, manufacturer settings. I want to keep it the way I have it. How do you do it? This is what I used to do years ago with my mini iPod Nano. I used to do that all the time to clear out a bunch of space. Using my computer, using my laptop, and taking out certain things and selecting certain ones I want to delete. Now, I know it's a big problem with the space we have. What's more big or 64 gigabyte or a hard drive 500 gigabyte? A 500 gigabyte hard drive for your laptop is going to be a lot more bigger than your 64. Alright, now the three things you're going to need is a PC or a Mac and also a iPod and of course your lightning to USB cable to able to sync and unsync your different applications, videos, pictures, music, and so on and that like that. It's pretty cool. I really like doing this this way. I can manage my account and also the different applications on it. It's so simple. I'm going to show you one of the apps I use to how much I know what's being used up on my iPod. That's what I use. That's the disk space. That orange stuff is how much I use. The blue stuff is how much I have free. Okay, you guys can see that. It's almost like a mini disk space like you have on your computer with the stock applications. But when I downloaded iOS 8, I didn't have enough room on my iPod. I had to get rid of some of my stuff to be able to put the iOS 8 uh, operating system on this device. And this is pretty big enough for certain type of applications. That's not big enough for what I need it for. And what hogging up all my space. Alright. Going to take this USB. Plug it into the bottom of my iPod, plug it into my computer. And by the way, I do have this connected by uh, Wi-Fi as well. Don't use the Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi is going to be very slow. They almost the exact same thing if you hold wire, it's going to be somewhat slow as well. 
But if you use your Wi-Fi, please don't do it because uh, it would be slow than molasses. I don't know why, but yes, I've done that a couple of times before. I'm pretty happy on what I have on my iPod right now. I have a lot of music, a lot of videos, a lot of photos, a lot of applications. But I'm going to show you guys on what's taking up the much more space of your iPod Touch or your iPhone or the iPad as well. But the way I normally do it is I just go to general and check the space and that's typically where I would normally go. But that space is just not uh, convenient for me. I just use the disk space and I'm pretty happy with using that. And that just tells me on how much space is being used up on my device itself. A very quick way is deleting certain applications you don't use, like certain apps is taking up your space on your device. Movies you bought and you don't want to watch again, or videos, or uh, pictures. Now, everybody has pictures, right? Everybody likes to keep pictures on the device. Why don't you store it on your computer instead of actual on your iPod Touch, your iPhone, or your iPad? But the reason why you do that is for you can show all your family members and friends all the different uh, photos. Now, you guys can see here is my whole list of my music. I have lots of more albums going downhill. Well, we're going to go ahead and click on the iPod icon and we're going to show you what's down below here. You guys can see I have my audio, I have my videos, I have pictures, applications, and also this amount of space left for more items. How much do I got for you? I got 22 point nine gigabytes free for different own applications. Now let's go ahead and jump into my photos app or the application and we're going to go ahead and uncheck all my photos and see how much more storage I actually get. By taking these off will be a whole lot easier. Just uncheck and unsync the photos. And yes, please remove. And don't worry guys, it's not going to be deleted. Okay, just removing it to make more storage on your iPod Touch. And we just hit the sync button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my iPod sync to my computer, talk to it, and do what it needs to do by the uh, cable right there. The, you know, standard lightning cable, USB 2.0 cable. And we're just going to let it do what it needs to do. The biggest problem is the storage and the capacity of the amount of space you need for everything else. I'm pretty happy on what I choose and what I want to keep and what I want to take off of my iPod as well. I really like the more space I need to be able to play videos, uh, YouTube videos, movies, and everything else, and also my music. Now, the biggest problem is uh, crashing. I don't think it would crash, like my applications would crash. Sometimes I actually literally have to restart the iPod and do that, and it drives me insane. You know, close all the applications of what's running in the background, shut the iPod down, reboot it, let it restart. Now, you guys can see. I now have 21.33 gigabytes free. Awesome. And the one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my videos or my movies. And again, let's uncheck them from the top. And once you remove them from here, everything else that you have checked will still be though. Now I'm going to go ahead and unsync them from my iPod Touch. I really enjoy having this process of me taking stuff out and adding more stuff in. Now once I dropped everything down, it should go pretty quickly of taking everything out. Now once you put everything back in, it's going to be a little bit slow because you had to go through all that process 
of syncing and letting it charge. Make sure your iPod is fully charged and your computer is plugged in the AC for everything to seem to work. I am pretty happy on what I choose. It's up to you guys on what, how much more space you want on your devices, your iPhone, your iPad, or the iPod Touch. That's the biggest uh, mistake most people say, oh, let me just put all more, more of my crap on there and why don't I have any more space? Because you guys have a lot more stuff on it than you expect. Now, how much do I got now once I took all my videos off? Alright, uh, 30.59 gigabytes free. Awesome! Means no more pictures and no more videos on my iPod Touch at all. Now I got a lot more space now for uh, my unit to do what it needs to do. Now with us go ahead and I just unplugged it. That's fine. And we go back into my storage app. You guys can see that? Look how much more space I got. Awesome. Alright guys, thank you for watching today's vlog. If you guys are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like, please show. Peace out. Bye guys. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. I do apologize if my screen flickles in the background. Sorry about that.